Hello dear friends, today you will hear Naudrion, Fall of the Empire review. In the past there was a four kingdoms, but evil Morgoth managed to conquer them all. Only one left free. You will play as a Marcus, whose army was defeated by evil emperor. The hero will travel the world, meet different peoples, hunt for different monsters and search for treasures. The hero must not only survive in the harsh world of Naldrium, but also find a way to defeat the evil emperor. In the very beginning of the game we meet a dying goblin who tells us that a whole horde of goblins and wild monsters and even a great undead will come to the earth soon, because the Dark Lord opened the portal. And I'm afraid it will be another problem with which our hero have to deal in his journey. So let's dive into the game itself. From the very start I have a strange feeling that it reminds me something from my past, very deep past. And yes, I remember. It's Gothica. Do you remember Gothica Trilogy? Playing Naudrion is like you travel back in time and start new Gothica story. Right now Fall of the Empire is in very, very early access stage. You can only play Act 1, complete few side quests and half of the guild storyline. It's an open world game. The world is pretty large. The hero can go whatever he wants and he will not encounter any loading screens on the way. For hunting monsters and completing tasks you will receive experience points. Also, when you level up you will get learning points that can be used to get useful skills. Also, there is an alchemy and crafting system in this game. All quests can be solved by different paths, only you decide which approach to take. Every NPC in this game lives their own life. They have their day schedule. They sleep, eat, work and relax. The fighting system is quite easy. You can perform normal attack or you can do strong attack. You can block. And you collected rage points while fighting. You can use these points to perform special attacks. But you have to learn some talents first. This game has its portion of humor. In the very first farm I went into, I met a guy named Mick, and he told me about his old wound, arrow in the knee. Don't it remind you something? Something from Oblivion? Where every sword god has arrow in the knee? That's old Mimi. The game itself is pretty interesting. The game world is interesting to explore. Oh, what's that old house in the trees? I just must go there and explore it. Maybe there is some treasures hidden here. The biggest disadvantage in this game is graphics and visual stuff. It looks old. 10 years old. But in our time, when tons of new games have pixel art style, this game is better. Definitely better. Just don't forget, this game have only one developer, so don't expect as much as from Gothic or Elder Scroll. And in conclusion, will I play this game? Definitely yes. And if you have a nostalgia about such game as Gothic 1, 2, 3, Elder Scrolls Morrowind, this game is for you. You should play it too. 
The price of this game is low and only thing I recommend you to do is wait for release. Cause now Naudron is really in very early access state. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you in next one.